Hi folks, it's Java Films again, and today's video, I'm going to be building a um, kit I got off Amazon. Uh, I've started to prepare some videos, and you need some test equipment. You can't just uh, switch it on, oh, it's this, then swap all the components out, because you could be swapping components out that are completely fine. Anyway, um found this on Amazon, it's actually recommended by a uh, friend, some, some friends, you know, don't go out and buy a really expensive LCR meter when you can get a cheap one. And it's a, uh, see that LCR T4 ESR meter transit battery case with case. Yeah, it's Chinese. So let's, uh, let's open it up, see what we get. Um, be the case packet of screws from over there and the circuit itself which is really nicely packed up in in a lot of cellar tape in fact to save you from um, Watching me attempt to open this, I'm going to pause the video. Well, that was pretty much simple. Uh, bug of screws and what have you. The case. And this is basically all it is it's a battery tray. Put your components in there, you press the button, and uh, it all pops up. You've also got this lever thing here to stop the stuff moving around. And so you've got a of your transistors there. I'm not going to show you that I'm not going to do a time of me building it because well it's pretty pretty simple. It doesn't come with any instructions but you know it's should be fairly ob obvious what, what goes where. In fact I really wish it did come with instructions because I don't want to put something in the wrong place. Anyway shall put this together we should get some components and we shall give it a quick test. Then here it is. Simple to construct. I did have problems with the uh, bits at the side. I was putting them in the wrong way round. Operation is simple. You put your capacitor in. You've got a little um, lever thing here that uh, clamps them in place. And you just press the button and it will analyse the capacitor and tell you what the capacitance is. you also got your, ba your battery condition there. Uh, it'll think about it for a few seconds. And there we go, 952.0 microfarad, so 1000 microfarad capacitor. Your ESR and your VLOS. Really simple, let's get rid of that one. Let's put in 0.1 microfarad. Now I'm having to do this on my phone camera because the GoPro washes out the display. It is quite bright as well, so uh, that's in. Mm -hmm. Press the button and it should say what it is. Yep, that's pretty. Is that right? Your point zero point one microfarad. So yeah, it's quite close enough. Now I have tested with some ceramic 
disc capacitors and it won't pick up a 10 pico or 20 pico farad so it looks like 30 pico farad is your minimum capacitance it will also do transistors but i need two amps for that i have tried and struggle you know doing it one-handed so what about capacitors that uh, that don't work the best one let's see if it's an old one microfarad capacitor out of a uh, medium wave radio uh, I've start, i did start to repair during lockdown but it didn't have the capacitors it's ancient anyway 1950s 1960s so um let's all have a laugh have, have a guess what the esr is Yeah, it's thinking about it. Yeah, two thousand seven hundred and eighty nanofarad, and an ESR of fifty seven ohms. That is now a resistor. <laughs> anyway, it it will do diodes as well. I don't have any to hand. It will do transistors, but you've got to hold it on there in this little pad there, and press the button. It does work on some transistors. I've only got one or two anyway, but I need two hands for that. And that is pretty much it for this video. Um, real cheap meter. I'll link it in the description box. And if you, like myself, are getting into radio repair, it's not exactly necessary to go out and spend tons of money on test equipment. You might not use as much of anyway. And obviously, uh, I'd rather lose 20 or Twenty pound odd. I can't remember how much this cost me now, but um, I'd rather lose twenty pound on a meter. I'm not going to use then um, spend ninety odd quid on a peak meter that I won't use anyway. Y you get what I mean by it, you know. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. It really does give me a boost when me see my subscribe as number goes up and I get a thumbs up on the video it really encourages me to make more videos anyway until next time thank you for watching good dx 73 and all the usual stuff see you in the next one bye for now